Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries and I'm here with another vintage jewelry sale and some lots. And if I can't fit it all in one sentence, no, one video, then I'm just gonna split it up. So um, this is the first item. I believe through the research that it may be Morenci, M-O-R-E-N-C-I, Southeast Arizona, turquoise. Because of the way that it looks, it has that light blue with the matrix of iron, iron pyrite. So I'm thinking it might be, um, that's what I'm going to go with because I did research it, but it may not be. But I'm just saying, if anybody knows about turquoise, you can let me know if that's right or wrong. But it's beautiful either way. And it is um, turquoise and sterling. And it's a size 9. And it's 48 plus shipping. You could have it size since it is sterling if it's too large. This is a beautiful specimen of malachite and sterling silver wide band. Not 100% sure on the maker because I can't read it, but I think the symbol, there's a symbol on there, 925, and of course I did test it. It's a beautiful sterling ring, it's a size 8, and it's $58. It resembles a kind of sage in, but I, I'm not saying it's sage in, it just resembles that type. It's beautiful, and it's 58 plus shipping. Then I have this sterling ring that is cut glass. It's really neat because it's cut on the top and it's cut on the bottom. So it gives a different kind of look. It's, it's a medium blue and it's size seven and a half. Stands up tall and it's neat. Then I have this <laughs> Where did you go? I just shoved them to the side. Hopefully I didn't put them in a bag with something else. No, I didn't. These sterling um, mystic rainbow topaz sterling earrings. the mark on them. Really neat. They look better in person, honestly. Even though the lighting's good in here. It still looks better in person. Those are 28 plus shipping. So there you go with those. Then I'm trying to go in order now. We have, where are you, little piggy? This little guy, which is a, a big chunk of silver. That's the marking. And he is a seven and a half. And he will be 54 plus shipping. And he hugs your finger and he's so cute. Then we have this dragon's breath sterling vintage kind of canateal around the edges big brooch and in the video I'm going to post before this it, I'll explain all of the information about dragon's breath glass so we have that and that's 55 plus shipping it's a nice big one then we have this bake light. This is on the next page. It's a round, um, like butterscotch bake light. Tested, of course. This is forty dollars plus shipping. Now shipping depends on where you are. Most of the time, I, if you're closer to New York, it's about three dollars and eighty cents. And then the farther you are away, the more it is. You know, California is probably about. 425 um, out of the country. It varies between countries. So this is the back. It's very old. 
beautiful. Okay, so that big light baby is 40 plus shipping, depending on where you are, like I said. Then we have... <laughs> I believe it was this size 7 ring. Yes, size 7. I can't say if it's topaz, but it's a beautiful blue. And it's Mark Sterling. And it's 49 plus shipping, size 7. Beautiful high mounting. Um, I love that. And then, what do we have next? We have, I was going to do that lapis gold filled necklace, but I'm just going to, it's missing a little bead, so I'm going to put it in, in wearable. So that, I'm skipping. Um, we have put this to the side we have so much oh my goodness gracious we have for 90 plus shipping a wearable lot a beautiful wearable vintage oh i threw those in those broken beautiful wearable i went over a lot of it in the video that you're going to see before this um so that would be 90 plus shipping. Just want to make sure I have it written down correctly for the wearable. Okay. And I'm going to say it's at least 10 pounds, but I will re uh, weigh that. And for the craft lot, same thing. It's um, in a medium flat rate for the craft. And it's going to be 40 plus shipping. Okay. Then, here we go with this. This is the Amber and Marcosite. And I don't have my ring sizer in. I do. Good job, Sally. This is sterling, so you can have it sized. It is a 10. But if you would like to wear it on other fingers or you take it to a jeweler and get it knocked down a little bit, really is kind of a statement ring. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And that one is 50 plus shipping. I just want to make sure that I have this all written down. Yep. 50 for the amber plus shipping. And it's a size 10. Gorgeous. This sterling ring, I believe, is Mexico. Needs a little bit of a shine up. No, it's Thailand. <laughs> believe me. I did look at it, but my memory. It's sterling and it has different color dyed mother of pearl in, I guess you could say pastel colors. And this is size. I'm gonna go with nine. So, Mother of Pearl, size nine, and that's going to be 25 plus shipping. It's not a very bulky ring. It's not thin either, really, but likes to be dropped, as you can see. But it's in great condition. So then we have this little sterling ring with the little bead that I can't confirm because it's so small if it's turquoise or not, but it's really cute. It looks like it's old. I tested it for silver. It is a size five. Mm, since it's a little bent we can go to five and a half. It was a little bit crookedy, so I was able to put it on there for five and a half. So 
that ring is going to be $18. It's very cute. So $18 for the silver, like a dome ring with a turquoise colored bead. It could by all means be a real turquoise bead, but it's so small I can't get a grasp on if it is or not. Okay, so that's 18 plus ship, ing. This looks like tanzanite. Once again, it's a purpley blue, not even a size seven and a half. I can't get it down any farther than that. So a little over seven, really pretty. Close up of that. And sterling silver. I said I tested it. And I just want to see if I can show you the inside. 925. China. S T S. But yes, I test them because I do not want to have an issue. And it's beautiful, but it doesn't fit me because I'm probably seven and a half at this point. Really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go with purple blue stone. Stone size, I said was a little bit over seven, right? Seven in a, in a tiny bit. So let me put this here so you can take a look at that a little bit is super pretty and um that one is 40 plus ship then we have this i believe this is uh, at least an eight eight and a half eight and a half turquoise and I was going to go with Moonstone with this, but I'm not getting some of the colors I would expect. So I'm going to go with Mother of Pearl. This is marked 925. So Mother of Pearl and Turquoise ring. What did I say it was? Size, yes, eight and a half, sorry. Some of these things I forgot to write down. You think you're prepared, but you're never prepared. I mean, I'm never prepared. <laughs> so I'm going to go with 50 plus ship on that. Yep, I wrote it down. Okay, so this we already did. This we already did. This cute little one with the turquoise and the sterling is size seven. So it has like, um, I guess you would call it a, a leaf design with an oval turquoise. Definitely. Yeah, it's definitely a seven. It's, it's very handmade look. Do you know what I'm saying? I think it's a little bit bent out of shape. So I think we could push it to an eight to straighten it out. So I'm going to go with seven and a half just because it's a little crookedy. Oh, now it's good. All right. So close to an eight now that we've got it straight down. Uh, that looks nice and straight. So that one, we're gonna go with the size eight. This one is a larger one, a bypass. It's a chunky turquoise sterling. It's, we're gonna go down to 
Oof. Oh, it's bypass, so I'm opening it. Durr. Okay, so let's say it sits at ten and a half. And obviously you can adjust it a little bit because it's a bypass ring. So you can tighten it some, definitely. Let's see if there's markings in here. I'm sure there is. Yep. Might say Mexico. I cannot read that. Um, I think the symbols might be that it was either Native American or Mexican made. I can't see it. But it's beautiful. And that's going to be 50 plus shipping. Bypass ring and turquoise. This one is a faux dragon's breath or a faux opal. And it's got that old-fashioned sterling setting that's really cute. And I believe it's Mexico sterling. This is very old. Um, doesn't fit me because I would keep it. Honestly, it's five and a half. So five and a 